So I know these three movements work. So they all piece together nicely with these different ones. So after doing this for nearly a decade, guys, I found myself putting together different types of moves that just seem to fit perfectly, right? Now today I'm gonna to be teaching you a three move combo that for me, just go together so smooth, and so effortless. And I just wanted to share it with you guys today. And this is for my advanced crew out there. I just wanted to let you guys know how much I appreciate you, every single one of you who are copying our ropes, copying our apparel and our accessories, things like our mats and things like that. Just wanna say thank you so much for helping this channel grow and just providing support to help me continue making videos just like this one. So if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and check our website down below. Right now, if you use the code SPRING20, you get 20% off all our merch, right? Today I'm using the Money Rope Performance in the Lava Orange Edition, all right? Now guys, I don't want this video to go on for too long. If you've already been watching my stuff, you know that I always try to piece together different combinations, things that look very nice and effortless and smooth. And this movement right here is just one of them, all right? So this is a three move combo. This is the side swing cross mixed with a EB, then into a southpaw double under, right? Now, I want you to just think of this as a piece of music, okay? This is what skipping is all about. It's just trying to find different moves that work well together. And today, the one that I'm gonna be showing you today just seems for me to just be the perfect fit, okay? So this combination, guys, consists of three separate moves. Now, the first one being a side swing cross. Now, if you're an advanced jump roper, skipper, whatever you're gonna call yourself, you can either do it with a boxer step or if you're just doing it with a basic bounce, that's all cool as well, right? I just expect you guys to be able to learn how to do this. So for me, where this movement starts is for my left hand side. I am left hand dominant, which means I like to kind of keep my left arm on top doing most of the work, right? When it comes to crossovers, it's the same, my left arm's on top. So for most of you out there, most of kind of the clients that come through the doors here at the HQ, they use your right hand dominant. So they're gonna probably go from the right hand side and then have this right hand go over the top. So what happens from here is, once this movement happens here, peeps, is I set the feet, right? You need to make sure we always set the feet. You don't wanna make sure you're, you're kind of off balance or the feet are too separated. You wanna feel these, this footwork really nice and tight. So you set the feet and then from here, what I'm feeling is with this left hand on top, I've just crossed. I'm now gonna move my right hand behind my body, right? That's gonna set up the EB, which like I said before, just goes, Real, real smooth, right? With the side swing cross. What you need to feel if you're right-handed is the opposite, okay? So you're gonna have your right hand on top here and then from this, this kind of movement here, you're now gonna feel your left hand traveling and going around your body. And now when it comes to the EB, we've done, again, loads of tutorials on this movement. So go ahead and try and check those videos to understand this movement. But as a short, quick tutorial, the real key of this movement, in my opinion, is the backhand, right? How this backhand operates. And what I wanna feel, and what you guys should hopefully feel at home as well, is just nice, loose grips. You wanna make sure that your handles, if anything, are at the tip of the ropes. And this is why I love the money rope performance so much, because we have this little wing at the end of the handle, which allows you to kind of have a nice light grip, apply pressure with the fingers. And that little backhand is the kind of driving force. It's what's gonna flick the rope and then you can time your jump from just that little, little right hand or this little backhand for me, all right? So you guys wanna make sure that you guys are smooth or kind of feeling this movement already at least before you can now apply it to the side swing cross. So you can actually do this movement and this whole combo from the floor, right? You don't have to add the double under variation, but for me, the double under variation is super, super cool. And that's the thing that's gonna actually now start to drive different types of combos add more intensity. So if you wanna do the same, you wanna feel when you're doing this EB jump, is to delay this jump a tiny bit as you kind of press into the floor and you take off, all right? Now the pressure that we put into the floor, guys, is not a jump. Now let me explain. A jump is this, right? That's a jump. There's no pressure going into the floor. I'm physically lifting my legs and what that creates is now 
this kind of bent knee effect. And we don't want this, because what this does is it makes things look, in my opinion, a little bit bookie. We want to feel like we're putting pressure into the floor, we drive the sort of balls of our feet into the floor, that then extends our legs and we now take off really nice and streamlined. So it will give that, that more floating effect. And that's what I'm trying to get across to you guys right now is feel the pressure down and then you get the reverse effect going up, right? I think it's like Newton's like third or fourth floor, floor, as if I know that much science, okay? I'm <laughs> just making up shit as I go along. But you get my drift. So now we're in this floating position and we've just, we've just nailed this, this EB, right? This is kind of like where you can go two ways. What you can either do, guys, is you can now start your southpaw double under, or what some people do is they go across their body after the EB and start the southpaw double under from the other side. So here's two different versions of how you can get the southpaw double under after that move. Okay, that's version one. That's where I bring both hands across my body and I start the southpaw from now on my left hand side. Here's version two. That subtle difference was basically me starting my southpaw from the right hand side. So you just gotta now again, understand what fits together perfectly in your own little musical score. You guys can let me know what you think. That's the one across my body. And then this is the one from the same side. To be fair, they're both smooth, but when it comes to doing the southpaw double under, again, this is a separate movement that I've shown loads of times on the channel, but you wanna feel every spot you're jumping on, the one spot you're jumping on, you stay on that spot. That's what makes this move, in my opinion, super nice and smooth, is if we can stay on the same spot, guys, and we're applying the pressure down, and we're we're jumping with nice straight legs and we're, we're landing with soft knees. This is what gives us the most efficiency with our jumps. And I didn't want this video to go on for too long. It's just, a, again, a visual representation of how you can make movements fit together like a perfect puzzle, right? And once you have them, once you have these little movements, three movements here, five movements here, you then can learn to just piece together, again, a whole wide range of stuff, right? I will demonstrate before I close out today's video. So, so I know these three movements work. So they all piece together nicely with these different ones. You know, that's just an extra kind of three or four movements on top that are somewhere in my head. And we throw them in together and we create a very nice six or seven move killer combo. So, so hopefully you guys found that super useful. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. That mean the world to me. And if you do, drop a comment down below. You'll be entered or have a chance of winning a signed rope straight from Fly City, our HQ. So folks, thanks again for supporting this brand and vision. Keep crushing your rope game out there and I'll see you in the next one. So take care of yourself, skip the treadmill, stay safe. Peace. Was the night in shining armor in your movie? Put your lips on mine and love the aftertaste now.